Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with our Earth playthrough here, episode 7 on our series. I'll go ahead and go over some of the stuff that's gone on. Um, taking a look at the research here, we've got the biofixture lab. Um, so now we're working on getting the carbon fixture, which is the minus 40 oxygen plus 10 pressure. Uh, we're mainly getting this. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. We've got the carbon fixer. We're working on getting the electrosis plant right here for the minus, um, or actually we're working on getting that. Uh, that's not a good thing. Okay, I'll adjust that in a second. Okay, we got the carbon fixer. Now we're working on the electrosis plant so we can get the ice launcher because having the ice launcher and having the carbon fixer, they cancel each other out um, because of the pressure differences. And then they allow me to have four hab domes. So that's why we're trying to get those. If we look at each one, I think I'm building a hab dome in each one now. So we're just working on the hab domes. We've got oxygen, uh, pressure, I think we're building a hab dome. Yep. And then we got a hab dome in temp being built. Oh no, we already built one here. Um, but that can be supported right now. And we got a hab dome in water. No, we don't. But we can build one. So we might as well just go ahead and start it. Alright, because it's going to take a while. So we'll go ahead and start that. Alright, meanwhile we'll have to get the other stuff built up. Um, okay, so what's the damage here with the solar activity? Okay. Poof. That's uh, rough. All right, that's gonna be lowering water pretty quickly, which isn't a bad thing. The plant's still pretty blue. Um, I think I have one of these off. Uh, so we'll go ahead and enable this cooling plant. That'll take some of the heat off, pun intended. Um, I guess next is gonna be building another cooling plant then to offset that. It'll be the only way. So we're gonna have to get another cooling plant going. We got plus 12 from climate change. I'm going to say that we're going to have to start upgrading both of these as well if we're going to offset that. This only has a pop of 103. We're going to have to start researching to the space station and stuff too if we're going to start getting more population in here. Uh, we should get this as well. Plus 8 population would be nice. We're not even with that hab dome being there. Like population's been pretty stagnant. But it'll go up. Um... All right, yeah, so the that's a lot. So plus 12 for the climate change, plus 24 for the solar activity. We're offsetting the climate change and one of the solar activity f from whatever. Plus one from atmosphere thickening. Meanwhile, pressure stuck where it is until the hab dome's done. Oxygen is up there because of the hab domes or it would normally be negative. Uh, not a big deal. The biggest thing is just making sure water's going down, which... <laughs> It's going down now pretty rapidly, so now we got to slow it down a bit. I don't want it going down that much or we're going to end up with a desert here. So that'll be next. Um, but I got to get the electrosis plant. We can build the carbon fixer now, and we should. That'll at least offset the oxygen, especially offsetting the oxygen from the... Um, hab domes that I'm currently building I won't be able to get the ice launcher until after we get the electrosis plant we're looking at you know another day for me uh, before I have that um, so we'll have to we'll have to suffice with whatever the hab domes give, give us uh, the hab domes are going to add plus 20 water for each one so that's 120 water for all four of them as you can see right now it's not really that big of a deal so actually we can somewhat use the solar flares to our advantage in the beginning until after and then eventually we got to cancel it out so for oxygen we need more oxygen we're currently building a hab dome here um once that's done and this is being upgraded and these are already done so once that's done we've got to build more oxygen facilities here starting with the the one that's the uh, minus 40. That's going to be the most important one. Now, if we get minus 40 there, that's going to put oxygen back in the negative. Um, a lot. Until we get the hab domes. Where are they? Right there. Hab dome plus 10. So I have three more hab domes on the way. That'll be plus 40. So we'll still be at plus 6. 
So I still got to build one, two, one more O2 filter. I'm um, actually got to build two more O2 filters. I got to get, I got to get one of them as high as I can get it, all the way up to negative 12, and then one of them I got to stay at negative four. The reason for that, and so you guys understand what I'm doing, this O2 filter here is going to be plus 12. So that's going to put us at plus four. We've got three hab domes coming. Um, that'll be plus 40, but we're going to cancel it out with the minus 40 from the thing that we researched. Uh, I can't think of the name of it, the, whatever it is. Um, so we'll still be at plus four. If I build two more O2 filters, one of them at, at a minus 12 and one of them at minus four, I can turn, I can have both of them running, which will get me, um, minus 12 total because the plus four will be canceled out by the minus four the minus 12 will put us all the way down into the negatives that'll drive this number down once this number gets close to 210,000 I'll turn the minus 12 off and we'll be at zero so it'll be zeroed out and as long as nothing changes it'll be good the only time it'll change is when I build more hab domes and when I do that I'll build four hab domes and I'll build the same exact system with the ice launcher and stuff cancel those two out Hab domes will be self-supporting. It'll all be balanced. Um, so that'll be good. Temperature, I don't know. This is going to be a mess for a little bit. Uh, the solar activity threw me off a little bit. Because uh, I was actually regulating it with the cooling plants. And keeping it kind of going a little bit higher. Uh, just so I could combat the water. But now, not a big deal. We'll wait till the water gets down to that uh, 1250 range. Uh, once it gets down to there, then... Uh, I don't know. We're going to try and balance this out. I want to be in control of this because right now, even though it's helping us, it's not going to help us in the future if it keeps going up and I can't control it. So I'm going to build more cooling plants. Uh, cancel it out with cooling plants. I'll build more than I need so I can get this in the negatives. Then we'll turn them off. We'll stay in the positives till water balances out. Once water's balanced out, throw it back in the negatives. Get this down to 287. That'll be balanced. Pressure is going to be real easy. I just got to cancel these out. I already got two plus six. I'm just waiting for the hab dome to build and for the county to be repopulated. This will be zero again. Once it's zero, uh, build one more of those uh, sequestration plants or whatever they are. I'll just keep it at plus four or uh, minus four. We'll lower this by minus four a minute. It's not going to take long for the 30,000 to get down to 100,000. That'll be good. So that's where we stand right now. In terms of money, um, at... Give me the money here. Plus 34,000. And that is with a revenue boost because I started one up before I started recording. So 34,000 credits. We're pretty poor. That's actually terrible. Now, oh, I want those. Now that letting this run um, builds up money, but it's not building it up fast enough. I burned through it pretty quickly. So we're going to go ahead this episode, actually. We're going to find a new outpost. It's going to cost us 2 million. It's going to be most of our money. But it's worth doing. Got to look at elevation here. So most of these places are underwater. This is all that's left land-wise. Oh, we can put it down south here because there's actually a lot there left. This is all still high as well. So actually, let's put one right here. That's fine. We'll build that. And then we're going to build a couple of places here to start generating. I always like having two outposts. Anything more than that, I think, is just too much to manage. I find two to be a pretty nice number if you're just casually playing the game. I'm sure if you like hardcore playing it, you know, 24-7, then you probably want to have more than that. But for me, my casually playing it, I find that this number works best. Let's start with silver. You always start with the highest one and work your way down so that way you don't end up trapping. Say like, I'll give you an example. Say in this tip right here, silver is really high and carbon is really high. And you don't know it till you start scanning around. And you're starting with carbon and you come up here and you're like, oh, wow, carbon's really high. I'm going to build a carbon thing here. Then you make it all, all the way down to silver and you come up here and you're like, oh, silver's really high. Well, now you can't build it there because you can't build on top of the carbon. You can't even build within a certain radius of the carbon. And uh, you got to wait till the carbon runs out. So always start with your highest. You know, if you got rhodium or uh, palladium unlocked, always start with your highest and then work your way down to carbon. So that way you're not uh, trapping yourself, you know, in a situation where you could have had a really large um, mine producing a lot of income and it's not because you can't build it because you already built a carbon one there, which is not producing you hardly any income. Looks like we've got, let's see, I thought I saw a spike here in the water. I, now you can't build a mine in the water. And so you'd have to wait for the water levels to go down to be able to do that. And they will go down here soon. 
But that doesn't stop us from being able to do this. Is there any areas in the water? I don't like usually like doing this, but... About right there seems to be good. Is there any levels in the water where it's like, holy crap, right there. There it is. So there's your really, really nice, oh yeah. Right there's your really nice silver vein. But he tried to do it. Can't be built underwater. But this outpost could eventually maybe see this water receding, especially at the rate that it's going now. But yeah, I can't uh, hit that. So at least we know there's one really big silver vein here. So it's not a complete and utter, utter uh, bust. For now, though, this seems like a pretty nice location. So I think... Ooh, that's in the water. Is it gonna... It's still gonna count, though. So we're gonna go ahead. It's like just barely in the water. 7,000. Nice. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get another silver here. And there's nothing really down there. All right, let's take a look at iron. Uh, not really just scan. Ah, see, look, a little bit there. Ah, some up north. Ah, it's not gonna be a lot though, but we'll probably settle with it if I can get. It's a little too close to the other mine. I'm sure there's probably a large reserve of iron someplace in the water here that I won't be able to build on. Um, this has been a horrible spot for an outpost. I mean, it's not bad. Ooh, actually, there's a little bit of land there and some iron. Can I do it? Ah, see, it doesn't always kind of register that you're on land. It's kind of silly like that. You'll just have to wait till the water. We'll have to wait till the water goes down. It's just the way. Just the way it is. Just too much water around the area, basically, is what it is. Basically, basically, picture it like you can't dig there because there's just too much water. It'll flood the. It'll flood the mines. Nice. Same with there. Ooh, that's all bad, though. Yikes. That sucks. So this really wasn't that great of an area to begin with, but it'll be a better area once we get the... Oh, that's not bad there. It'll be a better area once we get the... Um, Water levels down, so try not to beat myself up too much on it. There's some good mining spots here, they're just all underwater. Oh, God. All right. Well, I'll leave it as is. Water level's going down anyway, so I'm not going to... Like I said, I'm not going to beat myself up on it. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be about getting pressure. How, how close is this now? So, 50, 56 minutes. And then these are fine the way they are. I just got to build one more, which I can do after that. That uh, hab dome's up. Temple's the big one, which I'm upgrading both of these. And we're getting a cool another cooling plant here because we've already got the hab dome. So this is good. All right. And water. This is fine. I could upgrade the geocisterns. I might as well. Or technically, we don't want water going down. Well, it don't matter. Eventually, we're going to have it. So water is probably going up once I turn the heat off so we'll just upgrade these anyways we can always build more usually it's better to have them fully upgraded and then build the smaller ones and upgrade them to where you need them to do the canceling out you can always turn these off but it takes a while to upgrade them turning them off only takes one click upgrading them could take you know several clicks in a couple hours so we'll just leave it as it is none of these hab units i'm going to upgrade um i'll probably end up destroying them eventually hab domes are pretty near indestructible the hab units not so much 
I'll probably dismantle these just to open up more facility spaces when the time comes. I'll keep them up for now because they're keeping our places running and alive. So I don't want to dismantle them. But I don't see any reason to keep upgrading them. This one in general only has a hab dome. So I want to have the extra space for stuff. This one doesn't have anything. Hab dome soon. All right. So that's where we stand right now. But we're going to leave it off here since we're out of time. I guess we'll have to wait and see how things progress with that water level going down rapidly. We should start seeing some more of these, uh, some more of the land masses kind of popping up, which would be good. We definitely could use it um, for a lot of reasons. So now oh, there's the mountains through Argentina and all that. Nice. North America's someplace here. <laughs> so yeah. Awesome. With that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.